Okay, so the idea today to carry on with the, uh, the 10 interesting things was to make yourself a resource. So what I've got here, and I'll explain what we're going to make. I went around the house looking for some scrap material that was fairly plain and light coloured. And this is curtain lining that I found in the cupboard. You could use uh, an old sheet, you could use um, an old pillowcase, just something that when you cut it up doesn't fray too easily. And those of you that are my age <laughs> will remember something called pinking shears, which are the shears that when you cook kind of do the zigzag edge to stop things fraying. So basically, if you want to join in, can anybody tell me if they've actually brought anything with them? It's not like when I do my Zooms and I actually get you to do things with me on the screen, but I just thought it was a bit more interactive. Okay, so what you need to do is to cut some of this. And I'm going to show you why down here. So hopefully what you can see here is a part made 10 frame. And what I've done is I've taped it down to give myself a little bit of a flatter um, surface to work on, but also to stop the, the cloth from rucking up. So all you need to do, and I'll show you some examples, is, you know, maybe even cut the cloth, as, you know, do your maths and cut your cloth to the size that is going to be easy to divide into five. So I did... I did inches just because it was in front of me, so I did 20 inches for this one. And then I've got my permanent marker and a ruler that I don't care about too much because it's getting covered in permanent marker. And if you, I mean, I don't think your children will mind at all if this doesn't look perfect, but if you're a bit of a perfectionist, flatten it out and go over it a few times. But you can see I've just done that one live for you. If you go over it again, you will darken it obviously if you're good on the sewing machine you could embroider these because what you've got basically i pull it off now is you've got a 10 frame if i look and see what you can see oh i've got eight people it's gone up and gone back down again so i've got um my 10 frame here and what you can actually do is take this out in the garden with you you can stuff it in your pocket and this idea i got from juliet robertson who did messy maths i then passed it on to a company called outdoor classrooms and they are now making these so you could buy them from there if you want or you can make your own but that's where the idea came from so i've got that one i've also got one that I did with a different pen that is a little bit lighter it's actually about the same size but you can imagine if I just lie that down like that, you can imagine you could make small ones, you could make really big ones because we're basically. So what is lovely about this is it's permanent marker. So it goes in the washing machine, particularly at the moment with COVID, that's even more important. Um, before I do anything with it, I've also made one during it with cardboard. So what we're saying to children and to parents and to schools is use something that is free, recycle something. And the only thing you're using up really is the pen. So you could have these in your classroom. Um, the main thing really is to get your parents to make them. And imagine a parent going on a walk with a child and they've both got one each and it's scrunched up in their pocket and then they lay it out. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I found around my house because I know we've got some people who are either being quarantined at the moment or on lockdown. So they're not as lucky as us to have a garden. So I'm going to put, uh, I'll start over here. These are just some random things that I found in my uh, kitchen. So I'm filling it up in the twos pattern there and you can see how many I've got and how many I still need to collect. I tried to vary what I've got. I don't know if you can see what everything is. But um, so bits and bobs and scraps got store, uh, scrap store, says Kath. Yeah, please post any pictures under here of things you've got. So the idea here is you've got your 10 frames. So just like on the video today, I was using it kind of freestyle, but the children can see how many they've got and how many they still need. Um, there are lots of games you can play with your 10 frames like this. So I could um, share those with you another time. But you can imagine uh, an adult going out as well with their 10 frame and they're comparing how many of something they find. So you might go and pick up some leaves as it's coming into autumn in the UK and this part of the world. And you could find out how many leaves you've got, how many leaves they've got and so forth. And on here, just a reminder of the task today, what one of the tasks was, of course, you can turn your cloth over 
and you could use it outside just or in your lounge just to do the task where it was so you know the idea was you pick an item and then you pick another item and you talk about what is the same and what is different. I mean, that one's quite challenging, but maybe things like the reflection on them or maybe the way they feel as well. Because maybe, first of all, we look at things like shape and color. And I'm going to be doing stuff about that on the shape set, uh, webinar that I'm doing. You could also choose something that you will reason has something in common with this one. So you could say to your child, pick something else. That from here that has something about it that's the same. So maybe because they've seen the reflection on that, they say, I'm going to choose this because it also is shiny. There's a reflection. And then maybe they say, I'm going to choose this because it's also got a reflection. And then we can talk about what's different, what's the same. You're going to get a lot of uh, misconceptions or errors at this point, which is really helpful to us, such as many children regard a circle in the same way as they, they regard a sphere. And you can think, well, why would they do that? Mathematically, it's very obvious why they do that. And of course, it's not wrong. It's about what is it they're feeling that is giving them the same feedback about this, this shape here, this continuous shape, and this shape here. Just make sure that our subject knowledge is right. So anybody who's just joined us, you can watch this again. But what I've just been showing is to make yourself some... 10 frames, that's my 10 little objects, and move those out of the way. So I've just made this from curtain material. It's curtain lining, so very, very cheap and plentiful, and I just had it lying around in the house. Permanent marker, scrunch it up, put it in your pocket, take it outside, put it in the washing machine. Um, definitely have, you know, encourage either you make them or the parents make one per child but of course you want to have loads of these and maybe you want some little ones to collect little things and you want some big ones to collect big things and a reminder then the cardboard the cardboard was so easy to make because it's obviously really easy to draw on so that's kind of me for tonight because that was the the three the 10, as it were, 10, sorry, interesting items task and the three videos plus the bonus task are very self-explanatory. Tomorrow is all about children's daily routines. And there is so much for me to share in that that I want to write a mini course to go with that. So what I'll do tomorrow is when I come on at nine o'clock in the morning and I will give you some additional tips on maths in your daily routine. Because one thing, Momentum, and there's a couple of members of Momentum on the call on this live tonight, they're just having a discussion on the group about planning. And it's really making me think about the sorts of things that we want to have continuous, sorry, continuously going on, as in continuously adult supported maths, as well as continuous maths that is in the environment. And that's different than those times you have when you bring the class together or a group together and you do maths and those adult led sessions. So I think some form of diagram on a course would be really helpful to think about what does the maths look like at different times of the day and over the week? And I think very much Nicole in uh, Momentum was asking about this. And, you know, like most of us, she, she needs something visual to kind of hook her thinking on. And I think we all feel like that. Uh, but I have to say, yeah, Momentum, I mentioned them. I put a post up to get them to share the things they've made. And Rachel has, has just posted something and so has Kath because they're making the most incredible resources and making their money go a long way and keeping the maths really, really simple. Okay, well, thank you everybody. I hope that was useful and, um, you know, really simple. I am 100% committed to helping you do things that will make a difference and cost you very little money. So I'll <laughs> keep on sharing those with you. Take care everybody and have a really nice Tuesday evening.